shot up. That is in for the win. A room to run. Welcome here, Dixon High School, for tonight's volleyball matchup, varsity-wise. Start with the visiting looking Wildcats, Allie Hawk, Riley Clayton, Abby Sollins, Macy Sparks, Lindsay Wallace, and we got one more on here that didn't for some reason make it. That was 20, Zoe Dawson. And Dixon, first one up to serve. We'll take a quick look at them real quick. For the Lady Bulldogs, Kaylin Galvin, Bailey Roche, Alexander, Hilly Club, Brooke Easterling, and Hay Haylin Inman. Both these district opponents here, and take a quick look at that real quick. Starting on the 20th, Licking and Bourbon will play first. Following that, Stillville and Plato, Dixon, those two games will be streamed on Misha.tv. Due to scheduling conflict, won't be here for Friday, but Dixon and Bell will play. Winner of them will play Eugene. Dixon has played Eugene already this year, and... The winner of the bottom half will play each other. That's an ace to start out here as... Getting everything set up. So 1-0 looking with a lead right here. They have swept so far. Dixon put up a good fight in the JV, but fell 2-0 to the Lady Wildcats. Looking in the black, Dixon in the red. We'll take a look at the semifinals. Next dead ball here, and... Point to Dixon going back to the district here on the 24th. We'll have Eugene play the winner of Dixon Bell. Licking Stillville game, the winner of those will play. And 2 1 Wildcats. So looking the two seed in districts, Dixon the four seed. This game won't really mean a whole lot here. 3-1 Wildcats on top now. This is best out of five, so first to three wins. Join us from here on Saturday from Dixon High School. We'll be here live for the volleyball or softball tournament. We'll have three games starting at 9 a.m. Lakeway, Stoutland, and Hartville will all face the Bulldogs. We'll have a get a time before you sometime tomorrow on the time of those games. A rough time. It is a tournament. All those games sponsored by the Dixon Athletic Booster Club. Their logo is not on here. and wasn't on there. Should have been. So far, a four-point lead. Make it a five-point lead for Licking. Dixon can't return the serve. Wildcats coming off a sweep over Summersville Tuesday night. And district championship game will be on the 25th at 5 p.m. here. The winner of that will move on to the state playoffs.
So far, it's been all Wildcats here as a 7-0 lead, or 7-1 lead turns to an 8-1 lead. What are my, you doing, computer? My computer is being cranky. I guess I fixed it a little bit. Dixon can't hang on to it in the back, just beyond the range of the camera there. Camera a little close up, but I can't zoom out any more on that one. Work on that for next time. Join us tomorrow night. Tiger football coming to you live from Southwest Baptist University. They will face the Bolivar Liberators. That's a 7 p.m. ball game. And so far, no broadcast next week. All the Bulldogs on the road. Except cross country, but I'm the starter, and you can't really stream cross country. And an 11-1 lead time. 11-2, Wildcats on top. And that is just on the corner, 10-point lead for Licking. Looking back here, all the banners up in the gym here at Dixon. The gym looking very nice now. Commemorating the two state championships here, the baseball and basketball. Point. Dixon, 75 or 76 state champions for baseball, 1969 state champions for basketball. Dixon short, side out, point licking. Biggest lead of the set so far, 11 points. Wildcats currently with the lead. And they will continue. That's their 15th point now as looking on a roll here. Wildcats in the black and orange. Dixon in the red. And ace. Or licking. Point given to Dixon on that. I'm not sure what the reasoning was, but I'm sure there was a good reason for it. And 17th point for Licking. Number six back up for the Wildcats. All set. Tried to block it back over. Couldn't quite get there. 18 to 4. Wildcats looking like they are going to take set number one here. They're a steamroller and they are not slowing down at the moment. And big block by Dixon there. Able to. That's what I was trying to do the first time, and that time it did work. Ace for the Bulldogs. Oh, a 
slight hit there, try to knock the tempo off Dixon. That will give a point to the Wildcats off the violation. And 8 for 14 back in for the Wildcats. So two timeouts for Licking, one for Dixon. Ace for the Wildcats on the serve. 20 to 6 now. Five points away from a Wildcat first set here in this would have been district matchup but the meeting was yesterday so but this would be the four number two seed Dixon would have to beat the one seed in order for this game to happen again but I have seen things like that happen districts anything can happen also a Frisco League matchup game here and point Dixon 21-7 I want to thank the Dixon Athletic Booster Club for their support of Dixon Athletics for this year, basketball and coverage of the softball tournament. We'll have all three games tomorrow starting at bright and early 9 a.m., so hopefully you guys are up that early. I don't know if I'll be or not, but I... Well, I guess I have to be. I'll figure that out. Long, not really too long of a trip, and almost got the camera. It's a good camera position right there. Right toss, saved by Dixon, licking into the net, point Bulldogs. Fix the, oh, it is point licking, my bad. And that'll do it. Set number one goes to the Wildcats. We'll be back in about three minutes for set number two. Starting for the Bulldogs. And we are, looks like off camera has been readjusted. And soft touch on that. 1-0 licking. First serve, I believe that was number seven on the serve. Find out here in a minute. That was number 15. But that is another point. Dixon will face Bell next week. That game will be on the road. That might be streamed, possibly. See what we can make for that game, if we can make something happen. Point Wildcats, 3-0 lead right now. Big dig by the Bulldogs to get the ball back over the net. That is out. Dixon, first point of the set. One for nine coming in for the Bulldogs. And that is number 11 serving for Dixon. Let's 
serve out by looking in the back. Big dig by the libero on that. That is out. Bulldogs tied with licking now. Three all. Big dig in the back. Big hit. That is Wildcats. Point. Big kill from the center of the net on that. And number 20 coming up for the Wildcats. Once again in the orange and the black. If you're just joining us. Looking Dixon in the red. That is going to be off the Wildcats. So that will tie this up again. Knotted up at 4 each. Dixon into the net. That is a carry, I believe. Five to four. Dixon will drop that in the hole. It will knot this up at five apiece. So far, a pretty evenly matched contest here. That is end of the net. Back to licking. So far, each team trading points. And can't get it back over the net. 7-5. Both teams pretty evenly match. Dixon found a hole. And Dixon took advantage of the line right on the net. Number one for the Lady Bulldogs. Coming up. Looking able to recover in the back of their area there. A little lob by Licking. Dixon able to handle it. Big hit into the net. Eight to six. And substitution, nine for one on the Bulldog side. Side out to the Bulldogs. It's far a very even matchup here. Point Dixon. We are knotted up again this time at eight apiece.
Dixon, big save. Couldn't get the second ball too low. Nine to eight. Wicking trying to get that 2-0 lead. Dixon trying to prevent the 2-0 lead, ironically. So, first one to two really gets the advantage. Especially 2-0. It's a hard one to come back from. Soft lob over the net. Wildcats just off camera there. Dixon, big hit. Saved by Licking. And that is in. 10-8, Licking. I'll try the flash thing. Oh, that's a little special. Won't do that one anymore. Three-point lead now for the Wildcats here. Soft tip over the net on the other side. Dixon, they're able to find the hole once again. Bulldogs back in control here, down by two. Twenty with the serve. Licking, soft touch to get the ball over the net. Dixon trying to set up for the hit. And Licking and avoided that. That is out. Point Dixon. Dixon with the serve coming out of the time out. 11-10 in favor of Licking. Bulldogs big block. 12-10 looking on top here. Close game so far. First set, 25-7 was all Wildcats, but this one, Dixon is not wanting to go so easy for Licking. Licking coming in off a couple of shutouts, I believe, in the last few matches, so especially against Summersville Tuesday. That point again back to Wildcats. Soft little lob over the net. Dixon responds a little harder of a hit. Sets up. That ball sails out. No one there. 14 to 10. Have live coverage of Frisco League basketball provided to you by Security Bank of Pulaski County. Chris Bills basketball. And Post Pond Shop of St. Robert, just to name a couple of the people providing Frisco League basketball tournament sponsorship in about a month and a half. Team's doing pretty well, and Dixon can't hold on to that. Five, 15 to 10. Wildcats on top. Problem is, you let a team, team hang around too long. They're gonna come, they come back and bite you in the end. I think Licking is not a little worried about that right now. That is up and just over my head. 16-10, Wildcats. That is blocked into the net. Point Dixon, good move. And one for nine back in number 11 serving for Dixon. Thank you. 
Soft little lob there. Big block. 17-11. Number six coming into the game for Licking. Give me Libera a break there. Both teams holding strong point Dixon. Dixon can't return over. Good dig by the Wildcats on that. Camera didn't quite cut like I was thinking it would. The hit that is out. Point Bulldogs. Still five point ball game here. Alexander up for the serve now. Is out. Point Wildcats. Twenty thirteen now. Seven point difference and five points separate Licking from another set here. Right now, Licking has the momentum. Dixon putting up a fight early on here. Still putting up a very good fight into the net. Dixon within six. They can go on a run, and they're not far behind still. Does not take much to get on a run. able to get the ball in between the Wildcats. Five points now. Barely over the net. Licking just a wonderful save there on that. Somehow... Once again, Wildcats having trouble in the net. Dixon just enough to keep the ball in that dead zone. Now it's a four-point game. Ball. That's going to be a giant pole sitting right there, and... Good effort by Dixon, but I believe the giant pole won that one. Twenty-one sixteen, five points in favor of Licking right now. Still a close one. Dixon in trouble on that. The ball got caught in the actual basketball goal there, which is in play. Seen the ball get stuck up there before. Twenty-two seventeen, Dixon ball now. Number two coming up to serve for the Bulldogs. That is Galvin. Dixon, now it's a four-point ball game here. Both these teams playing very well this 
set. Dixon hanging around after a short win by Licking in the last one, but Licking not so easy this time. Dixon, good lob. We're going to have a violation into the net, 23-18. So Licking's two points away from a second set. Tomorrow night, join us. We'll be at Southwest Baptist University for the Waynesville Bolivar Varsity football game. Scheduled time for that. I don't know what's going on there. There we go. Scheduled time for that at 7 p.m. We'll be streaming probably a little earlier than that. No later than 6:30. We'll be set up. Time interview. Point Dixon will be with the Missouri S&T women's basketball coach for tomorrow's halftime interview. So Licking game point. So a side out by Dixon would give Licking the win. Big hit. And 25-19 will end set number two. We'll be back in a few minutes for set number three. Mike was not on that entire time. Well, we want to thank the Dixon Athletic Booster Club, Gan Johnson Insurance, KW Realty, Stephanie Rome. Just to name a few there. Chris Pills Basketball. Especially Security Bank of Pulaski County for all your contributions. Post Pawn Shop. And we are split one to one here again. Point goes to Licking. Number 20 coming back up. For the Wildcats. Post Pawn Shop is your championship sponsor for Frisco League Tournament this year. Well, our general sponsor for that is Security Bank of Pulaski County. Big block by Licking on that. Alexander again. Big hit and Point Dixon, 3-1. Currently 2-0 lead for Licking in the varsity set here. They won 2-0 in both C-team and JV. Wildcats now four to one. Side out into the net. Four to two. Dixon with the serve. That's number eleven. Back there serving. That is out, Point Dixon. Side out, five to three, licking. Big hit by Alex. 
Alexander licking able to save it. Licking in. They will double the score up six to three. With a two set lead right here. So join us tomorrow, 7 p.m., Tiger football from Bolivar. Brought to you by Security Bank of Pulaski County and Dixon Athletic Booster Club will be providing coverage of the Dixon softball tournament tomorrow or on Saturday. So licking now, five point lead, eight to three. And nine to three now, so they will start to get on a roll once again here. Dixon going to need to stop somehow. And able to get the ball back over the net. Licking big serve on that, or big swing. Dixon can't send it back over. It's now a seven-point difference in the contest. 14, three points so far on her serves. And kill by the Bulldogs. 10 to 4. To the net, seven point lead again. Big hit that might have been out. Licking kept it in play off the Bulldogs. Licking will extend this to a eight point lead now. Side out, into the net, back to Dixon. Number eight, Alexander on the serve. And too much on that. Back to the Wildcats. 13-5. Replay of the baseball game is live online now. Minus the little issue of the power that knocked things out for a bit, but both Dixon and or both Dixon teams picked up a run rule victory on Tuesday night. Dixon over Scumbia and Dixon over Crocker in softball. And that is into the net. I don't think we've taken a time. I don't think I reset that. Okay. Good ball movement. That is out. The point, well, I think they ruled that was Dixon's serve. It is Dixon's serve. And that is out into the net, 15-7.
that is out 16 to 7 now. Nine point lead for the Wildcats. 16 and 12 swapping places on the court there. Hit into the net. Dixon can't get to it. And that'll give the Wildcats a 10 point lead here 17 7. I'll cast you back here in a couple of weeks. Four districts, as I mentioned. I believe they'll be playing. They'll be playing Bourbon, the number seven seed. Dixon picked up a victory over Bourbon earlier this year. Eleven point difference. That'll make it twelve. Nineteen to seven now. Other matchup on the twentieth will be Stillville facing Plato. Dixon and Bell will play next week, then they'll turn around and play each other again, basically. Libero number 20 now. In for the Bulldogs. Put the wrong button combination. That is into the net. 20 points now for the Wildcats. Again, join us tomorrow night. Tiger football from Bolivar. It's the time of year where it's either a senior night or homecoming. So try to get there early. Very nice facility, though, at, Bol at uh, SBU. Bolivar actually building a new f football facility. Just inside, good ball positioning on that. Timeout, we'll be back in one. Back here, licking with the serve, 22 to eight lead right now. Dixon keeping the ball alive, licking, good job on the return, hit. And that is out 23 now, two points away from a victory here for the Wildcats. Dixon, not done yet here. Nine for one again, and... Bulldogs with the serve. No one there for that. Game point coming up for the Wildcats. These two teams, the only time they'll play again would be in a district championship and playoffs. Anything is possible. And that'll do it here. Final in three sets. 3-0 licking. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Dixon Athletic Booster Club, Dixon School District, especially for making this game happen. Um, oh, I see why it says right there. Have a good night. Just a quick view of districts real quick before we go. And we will see you later. Shot up. That is in. That is the win. Room to run. Henry is.